We're talking about season nine. You know the deal. Let's just get into it. So, I think season nine is the best season of Overwatch. Maybe bar season one of Overwatch two. I think this season is amazing. I think there's a lot of good. There's a little bit of bad. So let's just break it down. So I'm gonna start off with the bad first because there's not a lot, but one hero in particular is dominating across the ladder. Zen, I think he has too much HP. I think everyone can agree on that one. And I think his kick is a bit too much, right? Because obviously the entire premise of Zen was glass cannon. Now he's just a cannon. He has more HP than most heroes. Um, he does a shit ton of damage. Obviously he d he's not that mobile. But his kick is insane, right? If you discord someone and kick them, it's 75 damage. That's more than old Ryan Swing. That's ridiculous. That's more than a ram punch. Like, Ramatra's offensive ability punch, like, does less than a fucking Zen kick. That's mental. So I think they need to lower Zen's health and maybe tune the kick back a tiny bit. And he'll be in place. And then another hero, I think, needs help. Well, I think needs help, not, like, nothing. I think Lifeweaver needs a lot of help. So obviously with the dps passive uh minus 20 percent in healing so now you can't just heal bot but every dps not dps sorry every support does a form of damage bar life weaver life weaver's entire premise is i'm just gonna fucking heal you and pocket you into oblivion but obviously you can't do that anymore like nowhere near as effective so he's kind of just shit there's no reason to play life weaver like he brings no value like brig you do a lot of damage right like you don't do a lot of damage sorry but Brig is very good uh, anti-dive. Moira, you know, she does a lot of damage. She does a lot of heals. Very good against Genjis, etc. A pain in the ass. Arna, you can snipe. You can duel Widows. And obviously, you can keep your tanks up. Good. Baptiste, you know, he's flex. He'll, he'll do whatever. Kiriko, again, flex. She'll do whatever you need. Lucio does damage, does speed boost, does healing. It's great. All these heroes have their primaries that either do damage or do healing. Like Brig does damage and healing, Ana damage healing, Lucio doesn't, but his like AoE does healing. But his Life Weaver doesn't have that, so Life Weaver is struggling. One last thing I think needs help is hitboxes. Some people's hitboxes is ridiculous. Mercy Blast is insane. Zen shoots a literal bus. So does Hanzo. And so does Widowmaker. I think adjust those for like hitboxes, and I think we'll be Gucci. Right, because obviously any competent Widow can pretty much dominate at this point. Zen's already dominating. If Hanzo could headshot, he would also be dominating, but he doesn't. So Hanzo's kind of fine. I can, I can allow leaving that one. And obviously Mercy, you don't really use the blast that much. But if you go battle Mercy, like dude, good luck. Just good luck for the enemy that is, because she's going to be flying at you, hauling ass, and shooting a fucking freight train at you. Okay. I think that's all the bad. Now, let's get into the good. So, myself, I am a predominantly comp player. I don't really like quick play because I think it's a sweaty cancer first, right? If you want to practice Genji after the first team fight, they'll go Moira, Brig, Sim, Mei, Zarya, and just shit on you. And that, no, not fun. But I play a lot of comp. I've played 150 games since the season came out. Obviously, other people have played more, but I work and shit like that. This isn't a full time job yet. So, the good. The rank system is brilliant, okay? Obviously, I play predominantly combat, as I said, uh, and it was really, really disheartening to me. If I started a set, that's what I called them, like my new ranks. Uh, if I started 0-3, 0-2, 1-3, 2-3, you know, etc. Because, like, oh, cool, I'm not going to rank up, right? So, it's like, okay, what's the point in trying? But now... After every game, I don't see that like 0 and 3, 0 and 4, 1 and 3, 1 and 5, you know, whatever it may be. I see that stat, where I am on the bar, and that's it. So I think psychologically, anyway, really fucking helps. And obviously, being able to see the reasons why you're going up, why you're going down, how far away you are instead of just having to fucking guess, is brilliant. So I really, really like the rank system. I think anyone who's complaining about it is just probably a fucking idiot. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, not sorry. Another thing I like is the HP buffs. Obviously, I think a few need to be tuned out, like Zen. I think Zen has too much. You know, everyone agrees with that, though. I like the fact that Overwatch is a fast-paced shooter game. I love it. But I remember a few seasons back, it was horrendous. You would die. That was a shit click. But, you know, you hear it like, there you go, much better. Like that, you'd just die immediately. Right. 
not fun. And then we went through insane healing where you couldn't kill anything because there's so much fucking healing in a game. Whereas right now, it's perfect with the HP. You don't die immediately. The DPS passive is keeping healing in line. And with the amount of HP you have, you can take more risks, right? Riskier play gets more reward. You don't die as much, which is brilliant. And then another thing I like is obviously being able to hit your shots more is very nice. Obviously, I came over from console. I played on console for like 14 years, some shit like that. I'm used to playing with aim assist. So my biggest issue on PC was, okay, I have good game sense, but I couldn't aim. Like, obviously I could aim, but like it wasn't the best. It was very inconsistent. But now I can hit shots more, which is lovely. So obviously other people can climb, but obviously if you have the better game sense, I'm still going to climb up higher, obviously. I was hard stuck gold on support, and now I'm near diamond, right? Which is brilliant to me. And then, what else is really good about the season? People like Cassidy. People like Cassidy are actually getting fucking playtime. You know, I enjoy playing hit scans. Cassidy Percy is my favorite. I like the idea of being a rootin' tootin' slingin' cowboy. It's sick. Obviously, Cassidy was kind of shit because Cassidy relied a lot on hitting shots. Not a lot of people could do it. And obviously, his range is horrendous. But now you can hit your shots better and it's great. So, Cassidy dubs. Obviously, people like May and Sim are kind of ass, which is brilliant because fuck those heroes. Fuck them royally. Zarya is kind of not in the meta at the moment, which is also nice because fuck Zarya. You know, people like Buller in the meta again, which is nice as a Buller. I like playing Bull. He's good now, which is fun. See, I'm a Roadhog enjoyer, but like Roadhog's kind of shit, which I think he needs help with personally. Same with Junkrat, but you know, I can live with those guys being shit as long as the rest of the people are like good. I haven't played a lot of tanks, so I can't really give you my thoughts on it. But like playing support is really fun because you have to do damage now, which is brilliant. You can't just heal bot, you can't just damage up and just purely do damage. You have to do both, which is a nice way to incentivize that. And then with damage, it actually feels like you can kill a support now. Like a few seasons ago, like if I'm playing uh, Genji, for example, and I run up on a BAP, I don't like my chances. If I run up on an Ana, I don't like my chances. Right, obviously, you're going to have weak matchups. Obviously, Genji, for example, he's shit versus Brig, and he's not very good versus Moira. Uh, and maybe Lucio, because Lucio can escape. But, like, people like Ana, like Zen, should be sitting ducks, for me, personally. And obviously, they weren't. Obviously, Zen still kind of isn't, because he's built like a fucking brick shells, but you know what I mean. Whereas now, Ana is, like, actually killable. Bap is killable, Kiriko is killable, which I think is great. So overall, the season's a fucking W. Just adjust out some other stuff, and then like Zen, for example, maybe buff Junkrat a bit, because Junkrat's struggling, same with Roadhog. And honestly, I think the season will just be perfect. But yeah, my opinions on season 9. If you like, like, comment, subscribe, all right, shit, and I will see you boys tomorrow.